Modern times are a far cry from the days of Stanley and Livingston. In those days, it was necessary to employ hundreds of porters in a safari to reach the heart of Africa. Today, it is possible to see the great herds of big game and the spectacular scenery of the dark continent from the windows of an ordinary automobile. Possible, but not recommended because the hinterland of Africa is still a dangerous and treacherous country. These are the Serengeti plains of Tanganyika. Treeless and vast, they extend for more than 250 square miles. And here in the dry season, one can see thousands upon thousands of game animals zebra, wildebeest, and many other varieties. A surprised hyena lopes away as the caravan approaches. And the king of beasts is caught by the camera in all his feline majesty. Giraffes never fail to fascinate. Strange that such ungainly creatures can be so graceful when in motion. In some places, the going is tough as the car climbs and turns over steep mountain ridges. giant African elephant is to most big game hunters and photographers the most thrilling specimen of all. Incredibly intelligent, unpredictable and speedy, he can be a most dangerous creature when aroused. These scenes, which were made near the base of Mount Kilimanjaro, were procured at considerable risk. An old bull tusker is cautiously approached from downwind. The eyesight of the elephant is extremely poor, but his sense of smell is unusually keen. Unlike his Asiatic cousin, the African elephant is almost impossible to tame. He is much too wild and independent to be used for work or exhibition purposes. This herd of approximately 125 animals is undoubtedly one of the largest single groups of elephants ever photographed. Today, due to ivory hunting and the inroads of civilization, a herd numbering 25 to 40 animals is considered large. Climbing the highlands of Uganda, sometimes using a government road, sometimes making a trail across virgin country, the caravan is constantly sighting new varieties of game such as this herd of impala, considered the most graceful of all antelopes. Here are the Murchison Falls, seen by comparatively few travelers and considered by many explorers to be the most spectacular waterfall on Earth. Here the Albert Nile cascades and boils through a very narrow gorge with unbelievable fury. Even fish are killed by these terrific waters.
below the falls, Rill River. The only transportation is a native dugout canoe pulled by a single guide. Strange little eyes and big grotesque heads watch as the trip begins. peak above the muddy surface of the water. Along the banks of the river, there are hordes of monster crocodiles who slither into the water and disappear beneath the surface. There are hundreds, probably thousands of them, some measuring as much as 25 feet in length. And to this little expedition, they seem to be continually scratching the bottom of their fragile craft. of hippos such as these are seldom seen. Any one of them could easily bring the safari to a tragic end. wandered out into the crocodile-infested swampland. He is placidly feeding on underwater lilies and other vegetation. Suddenly, he sees the cameraman. Will he charge? He trumpets. This terrifying sound discloses to the crocodiles the presence of their mortal enemy. The next second, the whole swamp becomes alive with the dashing, churning, loathsome creatures, all racing for the safety of the deep waters of the river. Some of them even take shortcuts over land. Lucky, lucky indeed, the old bull did not charge, but left the adventurers breathless on Thrill River. <laughs> <laughs> 